Hi, everyone, with Eddie Oldtrack and Ray Ferraro. Shortly, I'm Mike Emery. Terrific action lies ahead. We are looking forward to all of this. Tonight's matchup features two teams that have seen each other before and are ready to renew acquaintances. But before that, this. Eddie, before we get this underway, what are some key things we should be thinking about as these two teams go at it? I can't predict who's going to come away with the W in this one. Both teams have skill in key positions, and the coaching staff for both teams have been coming in well prepared. And we have just begun. They keep working hard on the boards. Nice work with the stick. Poked it right away. That is up close and personal. Carlson's the type of player that responds to this type of game. It's going to be aggressive from start to finish, and his team wants to have the upper hand. Play stopped. Hey, Ray, you've got a closer look than we do. What are you noticing? I don't think there's much doubt. Whoever can play the game with the puck more is going to win tonight. But how do you get it? How do you keep it? That's where the challenge is. Okay, Ray, thank you. They won that draw. Taken over again. The Blues have it along the side at mid-ice. Gives it to the point. A point hammer shot. The lane was jammed, and it hit somebody. Larson's ailing, but he can't get off the ice. He's going to have to try and finish the shift. Whips a pass. Pass across at the point. Centering pass. Got to clear it. Now it's directed to Faust. Heads on to the corner. Got it at the point. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. Chip to Ruta. Long lead pass to Pareko. Great save. Pass attempt to Yarncroft. Slid to Vanek. Got that pass in his own end. And he gains the zone. From the outside. Out. He shot that in his own net. It's a goal. Man, Doc, I don't know what he is thinking. This is a blackout shot into his own net. I, I can't even come up for an excuse for what he is doing here. He needs to sit down and think about it. Some shots, only one goal. A lot of opportunities. Love the mindset of getting pucks and people to the net. The Blues control from the faceoff. By number 23, Puck cleared back down the ice, and it is icing. Over nine minutes play. The Blues lead 1-0. The tie-up. He needed help, and he got it. Back to the point. Turned a shot on net. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. with a clean win on the draw. St. Louis has possession in the middle. And the puck heads to the neutral zone, and so everybody has to get reset. Pigeon 3-0 is now lit. The Blues control from Screaming the neutral NHL zone. Screaming NHL 1-9. Franchise Skates Halifax Pigeons zone. versus ST Louis Blues 2018 preseason. He scores! Bertuzzo's roof tickler goes in from the high slot. I think he should be able to shut this off. The goalie gets down into the position to stop the puck. He just doesn't get the blocker there in time. Hey, Ray, what's going on down there? 
Word from the home team's locker room is they're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injury occurred a while ago. He will not return. The Blues skated up on the side. Is able to move on in. Let's it go. Marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. The Blues win the draw. Gave him a good shot, but a great pad answer there. Paladins are driving it from the wing. Decides he wants the corner. Scooped up by Gaskin. The Blues skated up on the side. Grab! Great chance ahead! The battle for possession continues. Shoots! Great point blank save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Leonard's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save, and he makes it look really easy. Defensive zone win. Somehow this one's going to come free. Petrovic is hooked on the play. There will be a penalty. Goalie to the bench. Substitution made. Whistle blown. Play stopped. The referee will hand out a penalty. St. Louis has been handed a minor. And the call is hooking. Uh, more times than not, Doc. Anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. Paladins are going to get their first opportunity on the power play right now. It's a great opportunity for them on their first power play. Get the puck to the point, get it to the net, crowd the net for rebound. And angled to Green. Took that away in his own zone. I guess that's a mistake with the puck as he turns it over, but he's just trying to make something happen. Maybe a little too aggressive there. Laid on to Vanek. A long scorcher. Save, but just barely. There's not much behind that. The goalie will make that stick save every day. Puck drop, tie up, and help from the winger. Clears the zone. Gathered up again by Green. Halifax has got it between the blue lines. Nicely received at the point. Score! <laughs> He had a lot of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. Well, he's trying to be aggressive, though. He just can't get out there quick enough to stop this shot. Under three minutes to be played. They have scored, and so maybe there's momentum here. The Blues control at center ice. St. Louis carrying it up the wing. Brings it in for an attack. Reads the play and keeps it. Green, time of the goal, 17 minutes, 3 seconds. Gives it over to the point. Wonderful stop. That was one he'll get the number on. Carlson's often been talked about as a 200-foot player. That means using your body, but just trying to get yourself around the ice with your skin. That one is pointed to him. A shot. Grab. A dangerous pass from the goaltender should have held on to that one, but he didn't get burned. The first period has come to a close, and we do have a score. It's a close game after one. You'd expect that from these two. Hockey's narrowest lead is what we have here. One goal.
Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't the Blues have the lead, and with goaltending like this, they might just keep it. But we'll have to see after we go to break.
We have 20 minutes down. We have lots of time still to go. What are your thoughts so far, Edzo? Halifax is lucky to still be in this game after the first period. They had turnover after turnover. I'm sure the coaches addressed that problem in the intermission. And he's held up and pinned. Propelled to Ruta. Hanging on to it up the wing. He's got that pass at the point. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. Halifax moves with it up the wing. On to Faust. Into the end of attack. Strong slippery move. Got a piece of that one. Shoots one. Great save. The yarn crop. Tries to get it on net. Stick to some. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. St. Louis can't expect another save like the one we just saw. Their goaltender came up large to bail them out. Good clean win. Bangs it ahead. The yarn crop. Right next to the line. A howitzer. Good save. It's going to have to be something tougher than that to score. Rips one. Terrific love save. Sometimes you got to be in good position just to make the stop, but you also got to be lucky. This puck changes direction and ends up hitting the goaltender more than he stops it. Just over seven minutes have transpired here in the second. It is a tight contest thus far with the score 2-1. to one. Cut off that pass. St. Louis's team play has forced another turnover in this tight game. I'm generally a guy that's entertained by lots of goals in low-scoring games kind of bore me, but this has been pretty good. There's been chances, the goaltenders have been good, and it's been very physical. And he holds on, and the whistle stops playing. Bonk, right off the coconut. That one's got a sting. They win the draw. Gives it on a cross from the point. Glides along the line. Pitching it to Grabner. Watch out! A big hit! I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Smart recovery by Yaskin. St. Louis has possession on the wing and neutral ice. Shoots! Score! He got iron with that shot. So both goes quick hands allowed him to snap that one off and score the goal. I guess that's about as perfect as you can place a puck right off the goal post into the net. The Blues' second period lead is now two, and that's not a surprise because they've had the puck most of the time. The Paladins win the draw. What's next? Let's it go. Outstanding glove save. Paladins get the draw. Chip to Fox. Takes that pass from the other point. Very important steal for him. Has it in his own end. Outstanding.
standing body contact. He wanted to make sure that his team was noticed here, Doc. He delivered that hit with intent. He went right through him. Holds on and gets that whistle. Sabatka's position here allows him to deliver a devastating hit. The face-off, the tie-up, and a solid job from the winger there. Crosses that line. Good defensive read with that one. Has that point pass as well. Terrific shot, but a great point-blank save. The goalie makes himself look big. The Blues are given a hooking minor. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. I like their setup on the power play that scored earlier, Doc. Let's see if they can get it set up again. Move the penalty killers around for a couple of good chances. Nine shoots. He missed the net. Oh, that puck slowed up and just missed the side of the net. Wonderful work done near the blue line. Gets a blocker on it. Back on his stick. Oh, pocket picked. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. Up that right side, the yarn crop. A shot. Lightning in that glove. Puck cleared out. Power play unit goes back. Carlson's got it in his own end, headed towards center. Nicely into the zone. The pad came in handy that time. Good job in clearing it out of his own end. Power play time is continuing to wind. Way back, it's taken by Carlson. Slides it to the point. A howitzer, no time to react. Didn't need it. Save. Great display of goaltending right there, Doc. Such a good stick. That could have been held by a Canadian of the 70s. Wonderful save. As soon as the shooter drops his head to release the puck, he's already in the butterfly, and so he can turn that aside easily. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Waffle boarded. Skill play by Vanek. Let's it go. He caught it and he holds on. Well, the goalie will take these all day. His save percentage goes up. Click, click, click with muffins like this to stop. A little over three minutes left to go in the period. A two-goal spread in this one, three to one. From the faceoff, and they lock up in a good reach. That's help from the wing. Terrific defensive work. And now we get the stoppage of play in the penalty call. St. Louis gets a two-minute penalty for slashing. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. It is a five-on-three for a brief time, but still... A two-man advantage, and the face-off will start it off. This 5-on-3 power play has to be careful that they don't get lulled into a sense of security here, and they move the puck around the outside and never challenge the penalty killers. He finally got it out of there. Green's got it in the defensive zone, headed to center. Halifax drives through mid-ice along the boards. Turned a shot on net. Oh! A power play goal yet again.
Well, he had a lot of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. The speed of this is too much for the goalie, Eddie. He's in position. He just can't catch up to it. Paladins have gotten back to within one. Late in the second period, so lots of time left for them. He keeps winning the faceoffs. His team is ahead in the game. His percentage is high, and their score is high. By number 74, Hustled long to Ruta. At the front of the net. The cursed goals are the ones in the first minute and the last. Will we see one here? That pass along the boards. Slaps it. Missed the net. He's trying to shoot that puck as hard as he can, and he gets all of it. Maybe take a little off it and get it on the net. Drives it. Two periods have been played. And so, as we think back through the first two, we think ahead toward the third. Hey, fans, we have a car in the east lot with its lights on. FSV 4494. If you don't know your license plate, it's a blue sedan. Halifax is down, but got a step closer with the scoring of this goal. Maybe there'll be more when the next period begins. We'll be right back. Forty minutes have been played. They are getting ready for the third period here. So take us back through the game. What do you think, Eddie? Halifax is in a real nail-biter here, Doc. They're down on the scoreboard, but I'm sure their coaching staff is concerned about their time of possession. They have not had the puck a lot in this game. Gains the zone. Fantastic shutdown. Got a free puck now. Smart recovery by Sabotka. Got that pass off the boards. Intercepts that pass. Maybe he can generate something. Really good cut of the pass. Good intercept. Moving it to Vanek. Can start the attack going in the zone. Shot got in front of another one. Great opportunity, better stop. And on top of that, another great stop. The goalie doesn't have to do much with this, but he's able to use his stick to make this save. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Steps in from the neutral zone. Fires! Save! Halifax has it between the blue lines. Around through the corner. To the point it comes. Gathered up by Yaskin. Angles it ahead to Bortuzzo. And angled to Yaskin. Perfect receipt of the pass. Great glove save. Big face off win. What a ripper. Save. That shot hit a man. Halifax motors ahead. Takes a shot. Blockered away. A big, big hit. I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover by finishing his check. Slid to Thorburn. Hammers one. Takes his pass from the goalie. Halifax wanting to generate something. They'll try up the wing. A textbook stick save. Hey, Ray, what's going on down there? This is just one of the best goaltending performances you're ever going to see. 
He has had traffic all through the night. He has had rebounds to deal with, and he's been almost perfect. Can't ask for much more than what we're seeing right here. No, you're right, Ray. Eddie and I agree. It's just another one in a long line of tremendous performances by him. Just over eight minutes to go in the third. Five goals in this game. It's a 3-2 contest, and it's tight. Sends to the point. Oh, my, what a hit. Carlson's not going to be too happy with that. He didn't have his head up, wasn't aware of everybody around him, and then he got steamrolled. Not sure who made the hit, but that is a big one. Makes the stop and holds for the whistle. Sabatka's eyes were as big as saucers. He sees the opponent with his head down, and he steps up for a huge hit. Halifax has got a face-off win. Snapping a pass to Faust. Laid on to Vanek. Solid work there by Stastny. Ooh, great hit in the corner. He takes that point pass. Let's it go. And open ice collision. Score! He's got his second. Sabotka's body position was key to be able to snap this one home. Leonard's down in his butterfly a little early. That opens up the top of the net, and he gets beaten cleanly. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Steps across that line. Blocked away. Directing that one to Vanek. Time of the goal, 15 minutes, 14 seconds. Fires, loud pad save. The Blues are at the wing in neutral ice. Let's it go, save. Ooh, it lay there, but he got the whistle and stoppage of play. That wasn't a very dangerous opportunity at all, but to be sure, the goalie drops to the butterfly and turns it aside. In the shadow of their goaltender, they won a huge face off there. Puck is thrown to Fabry. A neutral zone interception. One into another. There's a phrase in hockey, hit or be hit. That's exactly what happened. And they are in. Last minute to go in the third. A point blast. Score! He's got his second of the game. Well, he had a lot of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. He's got enough time to lay into the slap shot here. He powders this, and the goalie doesn't even see it. And that's a face-off win. Scored by number 41, Robert Portuso. Halifax in mid-ice, skating along the side. By number 50, They just keep working away, don't they? Freezes play for the whistle. And here's Ray. Leonard's had a rotten night tonight. Looks like a game of dodgeball in there for him. Yikes, this is an absolute disaster in goal. Some of those didn't look very good, did they, Ray? Thanks very much. The goalie. He's seen a lot of rubber tonight. His team defensively hasn't helped him out very much, but he's turned aside almost everything, and as a result, they have the lead. Terrific determination by Carlson. 
Halifax wheels it up the wing. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Yaskins trying for the neutral ice. Propelled to Gunnarsson. Collected by Yaskin. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. The Blues have the lead in this game. A lot to do with how aggressive they've played. They've been more physical than their opponents throughout this period. Good help for the centerman. Oh, he shook him loose. Nice fake by Thomas Vanek. The horn sounds. This game is over. The Blues have one big in this one. Much easier to play with the puck as they did all night long. And so ends our preseason telecast. Lots ahead for us before this whole year in the playoffs are done. But it's an evaluation time for both of these teams. We hope you enjoyed this evening's telecast. We sure enjoyed bringing it to you. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, I'm Mike Emmerich.